Hello friends, this is Yusuf. Uh, today we are going to see how to make uh, the ASP.NET RPG early program as a web service. So with no more further delay, I am going to log into my ASP.NET and that is it. So I have written a program called factorial. So this will return as factorial of a number. So now we are going to make this factorial program as a web service. So for that, we need to access this. So how it came? So let me close this and open it again. So you go here with your as founder ip colon 2001 slash http admin make sure the capital letters so if you go inside it will be asking you a user id and password s y s a d m so you don't need to give group sys admin uh, you need you need to give any user profile which is having a star i versus config authority which i mean s y s s this one. So any profile which is having this authority will be uh, able to access this particular page. Okay, now we are in the uh, administrative domain of the IBM I of your responded. So now we are going to create a web service server. So here it is web service server. Go here. So the right, choose the latest version and this is Test web service. Next, let's use it. Let it use the default user ID, and that's it. Now it is installing. Refresh. Refresh. It's done. So now what we are going to do? So, okay. Before we go inside, uh, I'll show few things in the program. Okay, so make sure this is this you have included in your H specification. Program info PCML is module. Okay, now let's go and create a web service. So now inside test web service, we are going to create a web service. So deploy new service. Go next. Okay, so here we need to give the ob uh, program library and object. So this I'm going to compile it in my library. Done. So now my library name is WS and um, program is factorial and it's a program. Click next. So my service is going to be get fact. Uh, something like this. It's up to you. Click next. Okay, so here this thing. So here three parameters are coming. How it is coming? Just because of this. So here I have give, um, I have set these three parameters as a input and output for the program. So it is being retrieved, retrieved here. So I'm going to tell the my in number is the input and factorial is going to be my output and the state is going to be my output. That's it. So you can play this out if you want. Next. So I'm going to give my user ID. Next. If you want to add any label list, you can add it. Next. And give next. And take the latest version. Next. That is it. By giving finish, we have done with the setup. So now, how to test this? The next question. And uh, while doing this, what all happen? Okay. <coughs> okay. So now I'll tell what happened. So if we go here. Arc links www. So this is what we create a test web service. Inside this, we have something uh, generated automatically. So it says web services. We have created a service called get fact, and this is a PCML. So the reason why I have asked you to give the H specification that will generate this file automatically. Okay, fine. So now we are going to test this out. So first we need to start this. I'm going to it now it's running so how to test we have option here to test service okay we are getting some error <coughs> sometimes you know the testing uh, tool provided by IBM it's not so good so how to test this so I'll tell you a simple way 
so click on here to see the visual document so this is soap based protocol so what is soap those things you can search in web so this is actually a visual document with this document in place if you give this document to anybody they can easily create uh, input and uh, uh, sorry web service request and they will get the response so now i have installed something called uh, whistler which is actually uh, a google chrome add-on you can try it maybe i can show what it is so this is actually whistler so you can try it okay and if you if you uh, install this add-on right so it loads your visual document and click here it will show you what is the service available and if you click this and it will give you a, a simple ui to give the input and output so now so here i'm going to give my input let's take five and then click go aha uh -huh, i got see factorial is 120 and i got the response access so go to the request and try something else uh, give minus one go see input cannot be negative so these things are handled in the program so now it's up to you so i hope i have covered so if you have any more questions you can let me know thank you